What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with a follow-up to the Magic Mouse 2 issue. So in an earlier video, I tried several iPads out and I went from the iPad 10.5 of 2017 to the iPad Pro, to the iPads of last year, and the mouse would only connect to the devices that had 13.1. Right. So my iPad and my wife's iPad were updated to 13.3 and the Magic Mouse 2 would not connect. Now, a lot of people online and um, you, the YouTube family that I have, you guys were telling me that that some of your Magic Mouse 2 devices would work with your iPad on 13.3. And some people were saying that theirs would not work with 13.3. Now, I proved in my video that 13.3 was not working for me but 13.1 was. So all that out of the way and behind us, I actually called Apple, got on the phone with representatives, talked to several people, and my case was escalated. And today I'm gonna to be telling you exactly what they told me. So let's talk about it. So first off, I'm going to let you know, I'm not going to give you a long drawn out explanation of how our conversation went, but basically I called them, letting them know that it's not working with this iOS, but it works with the previous iOS and they escalated my issue and they got some data from my tablet and they called me back and this is what they said. They told me to go into my settings and they wanted me to change my name. That's what they told me to change my name. So it was Nicholas Fagans. Now it's just Nick Fagans. I changed it, right? Still nothing happened. So I am still on 13.3.1. Going to go to Bluetooth first because a lot of you said that just go to Bluetooth and it should show up. So I'm going to Bluetooth. I'll click it a couple of times and you see nothing is showing up down here. So now I'm gonna try it the other way. We're going to go to accessibility to switch control switches, Bluetooth devices, and we're going to just wait and I'll even click it a couple of times. And still there is nothing. So even with the name change, and like I said, that was the only advice that they could give me was to change the name. Now, what's very interesting is that I picked up this iPhone Pro 11. This is the Pro Max picked up this and it is running 13.2. Now, I go into my settings, same name, it's Nicholas Fagans over here. I changed it over here, but I got my name up here and I go into the Bluetooth and the mouse is still on, of course, and I click a couple of times, nothing is happening. But I'm gonna come down here to accessibility, touch or accessibility and switch control, switches, Bluetooth devices, click a couple of times, and there we go. Magic Mouse 2 pops up. We're gonna connect it, and it works. Now let me show you guys my software. So let me show you guys the actual software that I'm running, 13.2.3. With that being said, there we go. 13.2.3 or 13.2 will allow you to use the Magic Mouse 2 on the iPhone. Now it is an update that's available. I'm not gonna update that yet. I just want to make sure that Apple is aware of all these things. So I'm gonna keep posting these videos and keeping you guys updated. I'm thinking right now that it's software issues because 13.3 will not allow me to use my Magic Mouse. Now, another question I got from a lot of you guys is why not try another mouse? Maybe it's your mouse. All right, so here we go. I got another mouse. This is a plain Logitech Pebble, the M350. What I'm gonna do is turn it on and it probably is our, there we go. Cursor on the screen. There are no issues with this mouse. You need further proof? This is the Microsoft Surface Arc mouse. I'm gonna turn it on. Click it, click it. Cursor on the screen. There we go. It's working. So it's not my mouse because it works over here. It's the actual operating system. 
So there are three that I have, two of them work, one of them won't, and the one that actually will not work is the one from the same exact company. So there we go. That's my update for right now. Hopefully I can give you guys some more insight on this in the near future. Just stay with me. I'm going to keep working on this just to try to get you the best information possible for these devices. Because the Magic Mouse 2 is a nice device. I cannot lie. I would like to have full control, but we know that you're not really getting a mouse control on here is just the assistive touch. So maybe if Apple changes some things around, it'll actually function like a true mouse. But for right now, we know that it's assistive touch, but we know that it's not working and the rest of them do. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up and please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.